Hi everyone, it's John Mitchell. In this video, we're going to look at technology and operations. Now, as businesses look for new ways to improve their operation system, remembering that the operation system is the inputs, processes, and outputs, they'll often turn to technology to help them do that. Now, technology can be used to improve the effectiveness and the efficiency of the operations. The next few dot points in the study design, including this one, talk about strategies to improve the effectiveness and efficiency and in this dot point we're looking at technology as strategies to do that so just remembering that effectiveness is the degree in which a business has achieved its stated objectives so how well is it achieving its objectives and efficiency is how well a business uses its resources to achieve its business objectives so obviously the more efficient they are then the less resources they're using to achieve their business objectives now the first technology strategy we're going to go through are automated production lines. Automated production lines are where the equipment and the machines are arranged in a sequence and controlled by computer systems and they're able to perform those tasks automatically. Some of the more common machines that are used are robotics which are highly specialised form of technology and able to, to complete really complex tasks. Now it doesn't mean an automated production line doesn't mean that there are no employees involved in production anymore but there may be less employees involved in the production process and what happens is that employees are often rendered or involved in activities such as maintenance, monitoring systems and even supplying the machines with parts. Now automated production lines can improve things like accuracy, cuts, welds, those types of things. Machines can be more accurate. It can also improve efficiency because one there's less employees but also the machines can often operate all day long or over a long period of time without with minimal rest and also they can perform tasks quicker than humans can and also it can improve safety within the workplace or within the operation system. One of the drawbacks is there are high initial setup costs to put in all the machinery and equipment to undertake an automated production line and also it can slow or halt production if the machines break down at any stage. The next strategy we're going to go through is computer aided design also known as CAD. This is software that creates product possibilities from a series of parameters. So the parameters are put into the software and then the designer can use that software to design a particular product. That enables the designer, engineer, the even the end consumer to view the end product without actually having to build it first. It also enables the product to be tested before it goes into production so that if, a, if it's a plane, for example, whether it's going to fly, if it's a building, whether it's going to stand, and all those types of things, because the parameters are put into the software, it enables those products to be tested. It also enables them to be costed before going into production. So the example I've got there on the right there is a house. They will be able to design that and also cost that out. And then if it's too expensive or they've got more in their budget, then they could make alterations. The next strategy we're going to look at is computer aided manufacturing or CAM which is software used to allow the manufacturing process to be directed by computers which then control the production process. So the example I've got on the right there is car manufacturing wall or robotics uh, welding the car there and that is controlled by a software program. Often used in tandem with CAD so computer aided design where there's software is used to design the product and then it goes straight into production and the, and the computer aided manufacturing is able to build the product based on what the design is in the software. The final strategy we're going to go through today is website development which can make it easier for customers to purchase products. Now remember those products could be a good or a service. It enables the business to communicate or provide more information to their customers or in a more efficient way to their customers which is improving the whole operation system. It's especially helpful for service businesses. Now I don't want you to think that it's only for service businesses but it's especially helpful for service businesses, things like retail, you know, banking and those types of businesses. Um, because now certain businesses don't need to have a physical presence in the marketplace if they don't want to. If you look at Amazon for example, there's no real physical presence, there's no Amazon store down the road, however people are able to purchase goods and services through Amazon because of their website development. So it is enabling the operation system in many businesses to become much more efficient and effective because now customers are able to access the business 24 hours, 7 days a week. Now the strategies that we've just gone through are the ones listed specifically in your study design so you need to know those ones specifically and you can be asked about those. However there's many other types of technologies available to businesses to help them improve their operations. Here's just a few of them and, and it is just a few but customer relationship management or CRM which helps maintain customer contact and tracking purchase history. 
video conferencing for many businesses, or, you know, FPOS, PayWave, databases, social media, there's many other different uh, technologies available to businesses to help them improve their operations. And you don't have to know every technology that's out there, but it's just important that although the ones are listed specifically in your study design, you can use other ones in your answers if it is appropriate to do so. So just to recap, technology can be used by businesses to improve the effectiveness and the efficiency of the operation system. The ones that we went through that are listed in our study design are automated production lines, computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacturing and website development. And obviously, there are many others out there that can be used by businesses in many different industries. So for questions, activities and more, then come on over to teachingbubble.com.